Arquitecto Secreto. What, what? Concert, Guns uh, N' Roses live in Manila, not on this lifetime tour. I couldn't help but marvel at how amazing uh, the Philippine arena is. With a capacity of 50,000 people, think of this episode. How do architects come up or design something like this for capacity of 50,000 people? Designing houses, designing small spaces, it's relatively easy because you're bounded by spaces and uh, you base a space on on the walls that you create. You know, you get it all at 50,000 people. Imagine your compano, you know why you get it all. It's all about space programming here on One Post Day. So how is it that architects can can design such massive structures? Actually, simple lang yan and complicated at the same time. Pero tutukan natin simple para mas emainggan yun tayo. Paano ba nalasin mo lang yan? Did they have a lot before they had the design? Or did they have an idea or a concept before they had the lot? Kasi syempre, at 50,000 people or 55,000 people, eh, hindi madaling makahanap ng lupa na ganyan kalaki. So, my best guess is, whether or not property na nung Iglesia ni Cristo, yung lugar na sa Bulacan, eh, meron silang idea of what size they wanted. Pero, alam naman natin, pag nag-design tayo, kailangan mo na may drawing ka. Ganun ba lagi? Pwede mong hindi. So if you didn't know it by now, architecture isn't just about making something beautiful. Kami ang nagde-design para sa tao. Or, mas magandang sabihin, para pagka-assign yung mga tao dyan. So for something like that, paano na ginawa yun? Simple lang, space programming. Actually, space programming, ginagawa namin yan even, even for a small house, even for a small restaurant, or something as massive as the Philippine Arena. Pero madalas, pag sa small house, siguro medyo hindi na natin talaga ginagawa ng space programming. Dahil kung tutusan, kadalasan, nauuna pa yung lot. So susunod lang tayo sa requirements ng building code. Alamin natin yung setbacks, alamin natin yung uh, gross floor area na pwedeng gawin, and from from that data, sunod na yung building natin, the design na natin yun, we can safely conclude na meron siyang kaya niyang three-bedroom uh, three floor plan or four-bedroom or whatever. Pero again, for the Philippine Arena, it's not that simple. To give you an idea on how to do space programming, dahil syempre, minsan, for, the, for a client or kahit kayo, yung mga hindi talaga nakakita ng design, ng design medyo simple lang naman eh. You can do the math para alam niyo kung kasya pa talaga lahat ng spaces na naiisip niyo sa utak niyo doon sa loob ng malit, malit yung bahay na malit yung lote. So, paano ba tayo mag-space programming? For the purpose of this discussion, uh, para madali lang, iset natin yung computation natin, siguro um, a small pavilion or uh, an event place. You know what those places are. Yung, dyan kayo nag-reception pag may kasal. Dyan kayo nag, uh, nag-hold ng binyagan. Dyan kayo nagpapaseminar. Basically, uh, as, uh, an open hall with maybe a small kitchen or end or toilets and, of course, parking spaces. Pusimulan natin. Alam ko na beforehand, dahil may mga design na akong pavilion, na ang 9 square meters ay sakto lang para sa isang lamesa of 10 people. Round table yan, na meron ka ng enough space para lang hindi mag-uumpukin yung mga tao pag magkakatabi sila at sumayo sila and everything. Or 3 by 3 meters of dimensions. Ang gusto siguro na may ari, let's say, for 200 people. Mag-compute tayo. So, ang computation natin yan is halabas 9 square meters times 20. That should bring us exactly 180 square meters. So, from there, from 180 square meters, computein natin kung ilan ang kitchen. Dahil meron tayong general rule of thumb na ang kitchen, by ratio, 
is about 1 is to 3. Dapat yung dining area. So, alam natin na 180, ang 1 natin dyan is 60. So, 1 is to 3. So, total of 240 square meters sa tayo sa ngayon. Ngayon, yung bathroom natin, siguro compete na natin yan at 10% per toilet or per section toilet, which is male and the female. So, that brings us to about 20% of the total floor area. Bring us a total of 48 square meters. And if we add that to the initial 240, that brings us to 288. Diyan na Hindi pa. Siyempre, kukumpitin natin yung circulatory spaces niya. Paano ka nga naman pupunta from the table, to the kitchen, to the toilet, and so on. And ako, general rule of thumb, of course, we can make it bigger. Pero for me, right now, nilalagay ko siya at a ratio of 70-30. 70% dun sa uh, usable floor area natin, tapos 30% para sa circulatory spaces. So if we do the math, 288 divided by 0.7, that will bring us to 411 point something something something. Again, I'm not just 411 para madale. And to get the 30 per, and to get the uh, 30 percent, we subtract the 288 to the, to the 411. So bring us a total of 123 square meters. So meron tayong data na ganyan. Ngayon, tignan natin ang building code. Dahil hindi natin malalaman kung ano ang parking requirement natin kung di natin titingnan yung building code. Sinabi sa building code, for this occupancy type, tignan natin yung restaurants. So, sinabi sa restaurants na you should provide one parking unit per 20 square meters of usable space. Para madali na lang yung math, dun sa 411, gawin na lang natin siya 400. So, kailangan natin more or less, kung 20 meters of space ang kinukuha natin, that should bring us to 20 parking units. Ano ba area ng parking? Kailangan natin is... Ang typical dimensions of parking space is 3 by 5 Para madali na lang math So 3 by 5 is 15 square meters times 20 Which is the, yung dami ng parking units sa kailangan natin Bring us to a total of 300 square meters And ako, ang ratio ko ng parking units to roads and driveways Is naglalaro sa 60-40 If not, 50-50 Pwede nyo pang gawin 50-50 yan Pero laro na natin sa 60-40 Bring us to a total of 500 square meters Just for the parking Add the area of the pavilion to that Giving us a total of 900 square meters So, kung meron tayong 911 square meters For the parking and the pavilion Medyo safe na yan Maglagay tayo ng allowances Ang hinahanap natin space for your pavilion is about 1,000 square meters. Binigyan ko yung simpleng approach and simpleng analysis ng space programming para maintindihan natin kung paano natin pagkakasya yung mga tao sa isang project or sa isang location. It doesn't always have to be like that. Of course, every project has different needs and every project has probably some different standards depending on the occupancy of the building. So with that, I bid you adieu, my Poste peeps. And tune in again next time for another episode of Poste. And always, share our videos, like and follow our Facebook page, subscribe and ring that bell on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram. So in po, Architect Boy saying to the loo. Salon. Oldest born, greatest on. Happy Centennial, boys.